you're gonna have to get close for me, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. You're gonna have to like, I'll try and become less lucky. There we go, that's good. Yeah, we just gotta, there. We'll both sit like this? Yeah, I'm down. It's casual. <laughs> you don't feel, you don't seem casual. That's the beginning of the video though. <laughs> another episode of October, the monthly series throughout October where I am telling you guys all about my friends' ghost stories. Well, better yet, I'm having them tell you about them. And today, I'm joined by none other than Danny. Hello, guys. Danny who, in How case you? you did not know. I almost just called you Mr. Time Lord. I almost just did that. Flashback. That's in my past. I, gave, I gave that up. He gave Long that. He ago. gave that up. He is now Danny Who, uh, that Danny Who on many other social mm -hmm. medias. Uh, but here's the thing about Danny: is Danny's the most haunted person that I know mm -hmm. by far. Basically, I'm sort of like both people, both of the main characters from both of the Conjuring movies. <gasps> That's completely haunted. One hundred percent true. <laughs> Just completely haunted. We talked about this a little bit in Chrissy Lynn's video, but it's like something about. Connecticut too. Some of our Connecticut. It's Connecticut. Just, it's just so haunted. Yeah. I mean, you go into the woods and you'll just see like brick or not brick stone walls everywhere. It's yeah. just a. It's just made to be a horror movie. That's so pretty much like Danny's house is haunted. Your yeah. house is haunted. How yeah. old is your house? So the house that my parents are living in right now. Right. Was it was being it was finished being built in 1749. Oh my gosh. Um. It's insanely old. And insanely uh, beautiful too. It's a beautiful yeah, house. It's, it's, it's really beautiful. Cool. It's uh but it's actually I did some digging around years ago. Uh, I went to uh the town hall and I went to like these really big books and I mm. found all this information. It's very like Oh that's so cool. It's very like Scooby Doo. That's look at you, Nicholas Cage. I know. That's it's happening. Book of secrets. Book of secrets. That's um, so cool though, but and so what did you find? Well I found out that the guy who owned the house, mm -hmm. who built it, was went through a tragedy while the house was being built. Oh! His, yeah, his daughter, Sarah. Okay. I forget their last name, but I have the paperwork back at their house. She ended up getting really sick while they were building the house. Okay. And she died. And it was just like really upsetting for him and we went scouting for her grave in town. Uh -huh. Didn't think we would ever find it. Right. And we found it. <gasps> oh my yeah. god! You know, that's crazy. It was spooky. It that's was... like something you hear about in a movie. Like, I know. This doesn't happen in real life. That's what I said. We kind of did it. We went looking for the the gravestone just to have fun. Yeah. And we ended up finding it. That's it was so insane. weird. I was not expecting it. It was just her name and the lies. It that's felt like so it crazy. Here, and she was young when she died, and it was. Oh my spooky. gosh, that's crazy! But that's yeah. that's your childhood home, right? You've never lived anywhere else. I actually did live somewhere else. Oh, did else. you? I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. I lived same town. The other house that I lived in was you wouldn't think it would be haunted, but Shut I up. would honestly say it was more so. Really? See, yeah. this I really have genuinely no idea about. That's crazy because that, my next question was going to be like. Did you, if, if, if you've lived somewhere else, like, have you believed in ghosts your whole life then? Like, have you had experiences pretty much your whole life? So, I always have been interested in, like, horror movies, mm -hmm. so I almost sometimes feel bad. I'm like, oh, maybe I'm just, like, biased. I just like ghost right. stories, so maybe I'm more inclined to believe in them. Mm -hmm. But there have been some really wild stuff that have happened Yeah. in both houses. Um, in the original, in my the house that I grew up in, so the thing is, is, it wasn't not nearly as old as the one that I moved into. Mm -hmm. um, it was actually in a new lot. It was, but it was in the middle of this wooded area. Okay. That is very close to. Gosh, there's so much backstory to this. No, tell. I'm so, so intrigued. I don't okay. care how big, long this video is. I'm so intrigued. Okay. So where we built the house mm -hmm. was in this particular area of woods that was very close to this area called Indian Wells and. Shelton, Connecticut, and that has like so many ghost stories. Yeah, it. yeah. Just it's just very old land. Um, but there was this particular story <sighs> where it's kind of like it's really upsetting. It's a true story. Oh no! Um, so back in the day, there was this tr running train track okay. in this area called Indian Falls. Okay, it was yeah. right by the Housatonic River. 
um, connected right to where my house was later built. Okay. But there was a tragedy there. Um, there were there was some sort of picnic going on. It was like a summer party, and okay. a lot of people were there. And there were I think three or four boys playing cards on the tracks. Oh no. I know. It's oh very no. Like, yeah, you know that's not going anywhere I know. good. It, oh no. It's can I swear on here? Oh yeah. Okay. It this sounds like bullshit. Like it sounds like I'm making it up, but this yeah. is an honest to god true story. Um, but what happened was. For some reason, I don't know why, but the boys, I guess, didn't hear the train. Okay. Um, but they ended up dying. Okay. And I don't know if every single boy, boy died, died but, but like at least one of them did. Yeah. I'll give, I gave you a little bit of the backstory with like the location. Okay. Keep that in mind. Yeah. So, summer of eighth grade, me and a few of the neighborhood boys, we were out in those woods and just having a grand old time. We were swinging our vines, doing just stupid boy stuff. <laughs> And little by little, everyone sort of dispersed. They went home. And then it turned out where it was just my friend Jimmy and myself. And we were just sort of talking, reminiscing, talking about high school. And I'll never forget, this sounds like such BS. Yeah, such bullshit. It's so yeah. over the top. But I was talking to him and I heard a voice Plain as day, it was as if someone was sort of whispering right up to my ear, like you could almost feel it. Yeah. And it was very much the voice of an old woman, and she said, and I'm gonna try and do the voice, but it's gonna sound so stupid. No, nope, bring she it. She's like, I found you. <gasps> no! So, <gasps> no! The, yeah. Oh my god! So I'm telling this all like in much more slowly than it happened, but it was all very quick. Right. When I heard that, my friend, he literally looked like all of the color had just drained, drained. out of his face. Because as that was happening, and again, you don't have to believe me, it's not bullshit, like I swear to God. Yeah. Right as this was happening, I see the look in his eyes, I hear the voice, I see the look, and then I hear this sort of like, <laughs> like cackle, <laughs> like an old Oh my woman. God, Danny. I know. I know. It was like this like weird cackle, and I'm not gonna try to do it. Do that, no, you don't have to. Do it to. Justice. Yeah. But I remember neither of us said anything. Okay. But we just looked at each other. Yeah, like, you know, you know we where you're so looking scared, at one another. Yeah. yeah, and we just we just kind of like mentally agreed to walk out of the woods. Yeah. We were so scared. Yeah, that's when I you exit. Yeah. That's when you you take yeah. your bow and you exit. Yeah, I just I couldn't. Oh like, my what? god. Uh, so. We leave the woods, we part ways. Yeah. I lived right next to this particular area. He okay. The street. Yeah. I go home and I'm like, Mom, scariest thing just happened to me right now. Like, you're never gonna believe it. Like, holy shit, like yeah. I'm freaking out. I don't know. And I they knew I was in the woods and my dad comes walking around the corner. Mm -hmm. And I hadn't given them any details. And he starts laughing, he's like making fun of me or whatever, and he was like, Oh, what was it? The witch in the woods or, or the old woman in the woods? I was, Shut like, up. I was like, what? what are you talking about? It's like, yeah, you know, like, that's the old thing, like the old woman of the woods. So he's, he goes on to tell me, and this is why I, need, I should have told you the other part afterwards, because it's sort of the zinger. Right. He goes, well, yeah, um, there was like that whole thing with the, the kids, they got hit by the train, and the legend has it that this old woman, who was one of the mothers, she died of heartbreak. Okay. And they say the whole legend was that her ghost is wandering those woods looking for her boys. Oh my god! So we are these two young boys around the boys' age and we hear an old woman whisper, I found you. That? I'm like tearing up. That's so I crazy. I just got like, chills. That is so, I full on chills. <laughs> that is so insane. Yeah. I'm not making up. Any no, like, and my whole thing too with like Danny's ghost stories is like I know a whole bunch of his friends that are from Connecticut that have spent time at his house and whatnot, and like anybody that spends any time with Danny will back up that they've had weird experiences like and weird things. Life. So I really don't. I I honestly I completely I 100% believe you because the credibility that's like almost all of her friends and even Christy Lynn said it in our interview. Like everybody's had experiences yeah. with you at your house. It's all these just things. so bizarre. Oh my God, that's yeah. crazy. That's insane. So that was like one of my, it wasn't the 
first ghost story. And there were some others, but I can't. But that was the first like major one. That was one. like a big. That was a big one. Yeah, that's terrifying. I was like, holy shit, maybe like <laughs> maybe just ghosts are real. They, maybe I, they're uh, real. I that's can't insane. It. Yeah. yeah, that's so unexplained. Like how and it's also the sort of thing where like I feel like we've all had moments where we like hear things for a moment and we're like, yeah. was that whatever? But like when you when somebody is clearly whispering in your ear, you it was know Thursday. like that's a that's one of those moments where like you know something's up. Yeah. Like that's not a questioning yeah. moment. It was so disturbing. <laughs> that is so disturbing. And I still, to this I'm day never gonna sleep ever again. When I was gonna tell gonna the happen. story, I was like, ooh, I was like, I don't think this story holds up as well. Like, I don't know if it's still scary. Nope, that's still, scary. Like, that's still scary. That's still scary. Oh my god. What are your other ones? What's your next story? So, okay, let's see. So the second story, uh -huh. this one I'm just remembering now. I, oh. remember, I knew I had another one. Yeah. Uh, so a few years after that, okay. I was at my best friend's house, uh -huh. and we were, whenever we'd hang out together, we'd be like really stupid. We would just do, we would stay up all night filming videos of us doing stupid shit. Mm -hmm. And this one night, it was my friend Chris. His neighbor Nick looked right next door in me, and we were. This was when I don't know if you remember the show Fear on MTV, where they would like have the cameras and they would. Yes. So we were trying to recreate it, but like in a funny way. So we were literally up at like oh, no. three in the morning, oh, like no. yeah. filming, running around the woods, like doing these stupid things, having a lot of fun. And we were at Nick or Nick, his neighbor's house, and we were jumping on the trampoline, okay. three in the morning, just being stupid dipshits, and. I'll never forget, Nick had the camera, and very casually, he just goes, oh shit, I think I just saw a ghost. So he sees, he says he sees this ghost or whatever, and we kind of just like played off right. the thing. We're like, okay, great. Okay. Fast forward, we go next door back to Chris's house, and we immediately put the tape in, and we're like watching, we're having a lot of fun. And this is back when you have to like put the tape into a VCR. Yeah, so very, old, yeah. olden days, the olden back days. Um. So we're watching it, we're just like laughing, and then one of us was like, fast forward to the part where you said you saw the ghost. So we fast forward, we're all like high energy. I swear to God, we watched the thing, and all of us just sort of just stopped. Oh, we were like, no! We just froze, my heart yeah. dropped. Yeah. We're like freaking out. Oh and, my God. Uh, basically what it was, was just picture like a, a regular sized body, but just glowing white. It was very like stereotypical, like cliche ghost. Well, you would imagine like yeah. uh, what comes to mind when you yeah. think of a ghost. Okay. But it had arms and legs, and basically, so it was filming. He was filming the back of the house. Now picture like this. Picture a guy running, like this, arms like out, like right. full sprinting, right. glowing white, running. And the second he hit the porch, he just kind of like stopped. We were like, holy shit. Oh my god. So yeah, so true story, it's really happened. That's crazy. Do you know if he still has the, the footage? I'll get to that. Yeah. Oh no. So okay. we rewind it. Yeah. We go to play it and the second it's I swear to god, I'm not making this up. The second it gets to that part where we walk because we run we're watching the part. The thing turns off, the VCR the tape comes out. No. I swear to god. We were like we started freaking out, like, what the fuck? Oh my, every skeptic is gonna comment on this video and be like, yeah, bullshit, yeah. but I believe that. I 100% believe that. You don't that. have to believe it. You don't it. have it to believe it whatsoever. Like, oh my god. So we were like, holy shit. Yeah. So I forgot, this was a long time. This was fresh, it was the summer after freshman year, the summer after sophomore year. Okay. And something happened, we were like playing, we were finagling with it. Anyways, we finally got it working. Yeah. And we were watching, we got so scared. We ended up waking up his dad, who, like, works early in the morning, like, right. don't wake up your friend's dad. You don't dad wake up, you don't, yeah, don't movie. wake up the friend's dad. Yeah. But yeah. we did, we were so scared. We sat there and was like, what the fuck are you guys doing? We are like, Paul, just watch it, trust me. Yeah. So he sits down, he's watching, he's like laughing, and we were, I was watching him, and the second it happens, you see him kind of just like, like. Yeah, he's like, like, what ooh, like that? that was a thing. Yeah. So. Yeah, so he was, like, you could tell he was trying to be, like, a skeptic. He's like, right. oh, that could have been lights. Or, like, yeah. like, oh, my God, like, there's no way that those are just No. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, because, like, instantly trying to take the skeptic point of view, like, it could be a per, like, it, yeah. it, it, it could be a person. There could be a person that was running through there. But, like, that's 
if it's a distinctly like very white person, no matter the lighting, if they're running, unless there's very even lighting, the lighting of that person. It was would so distinct. It was also so late at night, so there weren't cars driving around. Right. We there aren't a lot that. of extraneous yeah, sources of light. Exactly. Wow. But so anyway, so his dad goes to sleep. Oh my god. And Nick, the neighbor's like, well, let's take it back to my house. He's like, I have like a bigger TV. We can kind of like play around. He's like, just yeah. like a better system. Yeah. It's so like, okay. So we go over there. Okay. Put it on and we're like, okay, let's start watching. We watched this like a million times. We're like, let's watch it frame by frame. Right. I want to see it in slow motion. In slow motion. Like yeah. Look so, at you little paranormal yeah, investigators. Yeah, we were pretty intense. <laughs> but if you're familiar at all with ghosts, and this has been disproven by a lot of like ghost hunters, or whatever. Right. They say that orbs are like BS. That's no. This is, but this yeah. is odd. So as so while we're watching in the video, it's like this glowing white figure running clearly. But then you watch it frame by frame, mm -hmm. and instead of it being a figure, it's two orbs, two glowing orbs, and they're moving like this, and they're just going back and forth, wow. as if they're like circulating each other. That's but then crazy. in the video, it wasn't orbs. That's so weird. It blew my mind. I was like, what? That's crazy. Yeah. I do believe in orbs. I think a lot of the time, orbs are also other things that yeah. people, like, they're not always orbs, obviously. Yeah. Like, that's the most common thing I feel like that people can misconstrue yeah. as being orbs when they're just other sources of light. But, like, they are very weird. I've watched some very weird things from paranormal shows and all these other things where, like, if they're moving in a very specific direction, like... That's, unless it's a weird, wacky bug, that's like a, a very <laughs> yeah. weird circumstance. There's definitely like it could be lights or something, but this right. was not, there's a difference. Like, yeah, there know. is a difference. There's a big difference. <gasps> yeah. That's so crazy. So the sad ending of this story. And no more footage. Um, yeah. Oh, I should say, this is totally, this is not anything, but we thought this was funny to mention his mom. Nick's mom, I think, was a nurse or something. Okay. She came back from the hospital. This is just a little fun icing on the cake. But she had said that someone died that night. That I, I mean, know. yeah, people die all the time. But no, that's just weird. That, yeah, that is an she ironic. Was, like, thing. She mentioned how like it was just like really upsetting, and I was like, oh. that is no, that is true. In the moment, it was yeah. a lot scarier. Yeah. Um, yeah, I imagine in that moment, like everything's scary. Yeah. Like something, like a bug flies past you and it's scary. Yeah. <laughs> so that's yeah. But oh, uh, wow. but yeah, and then uh, his brother a few days a few days later was much younger he tried he wanted to you know like copy his big brother and he wanted to recreate do his own fear video yeah he taped over it. I mean, taped all, oh. and i know that's like the days so, of taping over things no i've done it before and it's the worst it was the worst thing that you could it do. almost i always get this feeling like all right let's say ghosts exist what if because you always hear like, oh yeah, of course, well, of course it got taped over. Like, what are the odds? Yeah. Well, it's like, well, maybe like, maybe the ghosts are clever enough. Or clever they, enough. they figure out a way yeah. to like, get into our heads to do no, that. No, <laughs> I truly, I believe in that because I've also seen a lot of more modern day things of like, ghosts are supposed to, it said, again, skeptics are laughing everywhere, but are, be, are supposed to be very in tune to like technology and like yeah. we'll use technology and like there's a YouTuber that I watch all the time, The Gabby Show, and she talks about how like she, she will find unexplained texts and un, unexplained things deleted from her phone, phone calls that she's never made and like all these bizarre things and like she's experienced a lot of hauntings throughout her life and like I think that's 100% a thing that yeah, we're gonna mess you with. You can't explain it. No, like, how the hell no, we can't explain it, but I believe Oh, so oh my gosh. What else could you possibly have to tell? Okay, I have a couple of those that are on top. Okay, of. yes. There's one that I know no one's going to believe, but I'm going to tell it because I think it's the scariest. Okay. It is the scariest. Oh no, it's, the sc it's scarier than an <laughs> old woman whispering in your ear. That, this, that I'm one. never sleeping again. I'm this never one, sleeping the, again. again, these are just popping in my head. I'm yeah. just remembering it. No, there good. Was this one incident in, uh, in eighth grade, I went to a Catholic school and uh, we were having this semi formal dance. <laughs> yeah, and we were taking pictures, and this is when we just had like Polaroids and oh, like, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, disposable yeah. cameras. So we got them, we got the pictures done, and oh my god, it was so scary. I So in the picture, in one tall corner of the gym that we were having the dance in, I don't know how to explain it, I wish I could find the picture for you. Oh my god. I'm gonna try to find it. If you can, if 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 he finds the picture, it'll be right here. If he yeah. doesn't, then he wasn't able yeah. to find it. I know I still have it somewhere. But it's basically this, it looked like Oh, it's so weird. It was like this very milky white cloud outline of 
this man, like very much a man, but the f- fucked up thing about it was it looked very like satanic. Okay. He, he, but he looked very like stereotypical like devil. He had like, it looked like he had his facial hair. Okay. And these weird horns. What? I swear to God, like eyes. We all saw it. We showed our parents. They were like, oh my God. And I went to a Catholic school when I was younger. I'm not particularly religious now. Religious now? now? Yeah. I kind of like grew out of it, I guess. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I don't know how to explain it, but in the so opposite end crazy. of the room, yeah, in the opposite end of the room, we had another picture, and it almost looked like the polar opposite of that picture. Like it looked almost like very like heavenly image of like a woman sort of like shrouded. But the funny thing about the picture with that like devilly character, yeah. of all the pictures that I had, yeah, that one I accidentally must have left in my pant pocket, okay, and left in the wash. And it's like destroyed. And it's destroyed. So now it like looks. I still have the picture, but and you can see where it is. But it's all like washed out and like warped and weird. That's like too coincidental. It's so upsetting. Wow, I can't upsetting. begin to tell you how frustrating it is. Yeah. Well, of course, because you have again. A, the, you're gonna tell people the story, and nobody's gonna believe it. They're yeah. like, show me the proof. Yeah. Oh, that's that's yeah. convenient. So convenient. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's But crazy. it happened to me, and I believe it, and I don't give a shit. Because. Oh my god. Did, what what weird stuff would happen at your house? Because these are all the things that I would like hear from friends who have like slept over your house and like all of these things. I've heard of like doorknobs yeah. moving and stuff like that, like little things, right? So when, yeah. So I, when my parents moved into this house, I yeah. ended up moving to California. Oh, like that's right. Minute, yeah. Two months later. Yeah. So I didn't spend that much time there. But at first, so I left, I was gone for a little over a year and I came back and on one of the first nights, if not the first night that I was back, Mm -hmm. I was in bed and I remember waking up because I felt, I remember this very vividly. I was like, for some reason it was in my head. I'd never had a seizure in my life, but I woke up with this weird feeling that I was having a seizure. I felt like I was shaking. Yeah. And you know, like when you wake up and you sort of like it takes you a second to come to and yes, like in yeah. a weird state. Yeah. I kind of woke up and I like put myself together and I realized that I wasn't shaking. My bed was shaking. Oh my like god! Like it was very clearly shaking. And I'm like right away, I'm like trying to process it. I'm like okay, maybe wash and dry machine. Maybe the, it could be anything. Right, 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 right. But then <laughs> the bed. I, so the bed's on an old wooden floor. Yeah. You could hear, not only could you hear it, but you could feel it, obviously. The bed started sliding. No! To the left. I swear on everything this happened. Like, I swear. I don't know yeah. how else. It, you could yeah. hear, like, this, like, like, and I, my oh, heart dropped. Oh my God. Like, you wouldn't believe it. I yeah. immediately just turned on the light. I swear, I, like, I feel like when I have, like, a heart attack. Oh my God. And... This was a few years ago, so I'm trying to get like the time, like the actual like play by play down. Right. But the bed slid, and then I had this really weird feeling. Okay. I don't know how to explain it. It felt like there was something at the foot of my bed, but at the floor, like moving. Uh, and I don't know that. Could have just no, been my bed. you can sense when something is like in a room, or when like I can even explain it with my dog. Like I don't even need to like really hear the dog. I can just sense that my dog yeah. is in my room, sort of. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is, but I understand what you mean. Yeah, so I understand but how it you made could, me like, feel like, like sick. I was like feeling nauseous, and then all of a sudden, like across from me was the closet door. And mind you, this is a very old house. Yeah. Um, and the closet door. This is like it sounds. I feel like I'm lying right now. It sounds like bullshit. Yeah. The door is as if someone was on the other side. Went boom, like banged on the door. You oh saw the God. door move. Someone, you could hear it. I literally almost jumped out of bed. I like wanted to cry. I was like, I remember I was literally praying. I said, please God. I was like, please make this stop. I was like, I'll never watch another horror movie again. I swear, <laughs> to, God, I swear to God, I said yeah, that. I was I like, please. You. I was like, I don't ever want this to happen. <laughs> And uh, either before that or afterwards, the bed did move again and slid the other way. And then, after a little while, I was kind of sitting there freaking out, could, did not want to get out of bed. I was so scared. Yeah, you're like paralyzed with fear. Seriously, like that's yeah. A, yeah. Yeah, I don't blame you at all. Yeah. And then, 
this sound, it was like a, it was coming from downstairs. It sounded like a bomb went off. I don't know how to describe it. Like, it was like this pop. Okay. But it was explosive. Okay, yeah. And it was, it was like, just boom, this went off. Yeah. I literally thought, I was going, I was like, holy shit, I'm fucking losing my mind. Yeah, 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 yeah. How do you not think that you're yeah. going crazy in yeah. that moment? Yeah. The next day, I was telling my parents about this, and my dad woke up because of that sound. Oh my god. Yeah, and he had no idea what it was. He was like, yeah, he's like, there was a sound. He's like, I thought I was like losing my shit. Like, there was a sound downstairs. Like, it was yeah. kind of like an explosion. Yeah. I don't know. Oh my god. So that happened. <sighs> That was on my first night, and I always had like this sinking feeling that I was like, Matt, all right, assuming this place is haunted. Yeah. Maybe like, I was like this new presence there. Right. And it, it was maybe like especially like. Prone to you. Yeah. Yeah, that's potential. That's it. That's that's a thing. And your whole, to, uh, to be clear, does your whole family like believe that the haunt is haunted? That the haunt is haunted. <laughs> the, that the house is haunted? So, everyone's not sure. Okay, um, okay. Everyone's a little more skeptical in my family. Right. Uh, but I think you've told me that everyone, though, feels a little bit uncomfortable yeah, in the barn, like my right? mom. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. when we first moved in, right. I I'd already had, like, these, like, little haunted, like... Experiences. Of, yeah, yeah, experiences. So, I remember when I went in there, I was like, you know what? I am not going to be afraid of this house. Like, it is right. a spooky house. And I remember we, right. before we moved in, we had the keys. I went in. I brought some sushi with me, had some lunch. Had, some, had a casual lunch? I did. I went in, I, I just really have it. I went in yeah. to every room in the house uh -huh. by myself. I was really scared. Okay. And I was just like, this is cool. I'm fine. I'm comfortable with this house. Yeah. If there's anything in here, I'm not getting any bad vibes. Uh -huh. So like, of the creepy things that have happened in that house, nothing was ever like sinister. Right. You just get like that gut feeling. Yeah. But. In the back of the house, we have this old barn. Yeah. It's basically like a garage with this big barn. Yeah, it's like big red barn. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't know what it is. It's very just a spooky barn. And maybe barns are just naturally spooky. So that's true. That going for yeah. It. But my dog Sophie, to this day, my mom was just telling me about this. Yeah. She will not go in the barn if you oh, walk I her love towards Sophie. it. You know, yeah. She's the sweetest. She's a big new feet and yeah. she's adorable. She's the best. Yeah. Like she's so the cute. It's so like this giant dog is yeah. afraid to go in the barn. Terrified. <laughs> like literally, you can't pull her in. Or she wow. Just pulls back. Yeah. We've had. Nope. Uh, yeah, we've heard some really weird things in there. I remember one time, a few of my friends were doing like this little ghost session. I don't know if you were there for that one. You were, I was over there once and you were, you've never actively gone in the barn when I've been over there. The only, you guys had an app open on your phone when yeah. we were in your house yeah. and words were popping up. Yeah. But otherwise, like the only, the only weird experience that I've ever had, and this is actually what I would consider my most paranormal experience ever, is I remember I was over your house and I knew that you, you've told me before that the barn has negative energy. Yeah. But so I remember asking like, if you guys don't really use the barn, why do, do you guys have a timer in the barn? Like the, the lights had gone on in the barn? Oh yeah, yeah And yeah. you had pretty much told me, you were like, there's no reason that the lights should yeah. be on in there. Cause there was nobody in there. This was like, Danny's parents were home. We were just like a whole collection of friends there and the lights just went on in the barn. And that's when I was like, Danny, when I leave, you will be <laughs> escorting me to my car because I'm right outside the barn. And then I felt really creeped out, but it could be totally just because of that. Yeah. It could just because when I'm afraid you, of everything. When you add it all up. Yeah, when you add it all up. Oh. So weird, but you were doing. So you were doing. Yeah, we did. A, we did like stuff. a little. We just had some fun and stuff. We yeah. Were like doing a little séance or whatever, mm -hmm. and we were talking. Yeah, I was not there for that. <laughs> I was not there for that. Yeah, this is my friend Holly and her now husband. Yeah. Um, but I remember we were doing one of those like yes for no knock knock once for yes to no, <gasps> and we never really expect any of that to work. It's just fun. Yeah. And uh, we asked. We were asking very specific questions. And we started asking like sort of grim questions, like I don't remember what something about, like if anything bad happened in here. Like. And we asked, we were like, like once for yes, two for no. We asked this one question, and there was this knock right next to us, like it was like like so loud. Like that's definitive. We fucking oh shit our pants. Oh my god. We were like yeah. What? And I don't remember, I think it was that same night, uh -huh. we both heard, we all, I mean, we all heard this voice, 
and it was very like Amityville horror. And I don't know how to describe it because it felt like it was right at the entrance of the bar. Okay. We were like deeper in it. Okay. But it also felt like it was far away. And I don't okay. know how to describe this feeling. Okay. But it was this voice and it was like, girl. And I know that sounds like I'm just ripping off of uh, Amityville Horror. <laughs> yeah. But I swear to God, like, no, oh. no. But it wasn't that clear. It wasn't like in the movie. It was like this, it was like the tone of his voice. Okay. And yeah. And we've done some other things in there. We just got bad vibes, creepy things that happen. Oh my Lights God. turn on. You hear like really weird noises. Um, oh my god. Yeah, and yeah, just really, really weird bad things. Vibes in the weird park. vibes. Yeah, I feel weird vibes from there. But I will say, in my defense, that like I already know that it's the only yeah. place where you guys feel negativity. So like, I think I'm probably just perpetuating that. Plus the like, thing, it could yeah. be just me perpetuating it because like you've actively told me this, and like yeah. while I really enjoy hearing about these ghost stories, I'm very on the fence of whether I ever want anything to actually happen yeah. to me because I'm afraid of everything. Um, but it's definitely a creepy barn. Well, that's sure. the thing, but also, like I said, like, once you put that idea in your head, like, yeah. that, like horror. Yes. So it sort of feeds into that. Yeah. And I try really hard to be a little more skeptical. Yeah, to try and, like, debunk things yeah. when they happen, yeah. but... But, I mean, things, when things happen, they happen. They happen. So I don't know how, like, a lot, like, it happened, so... Oh my gosh. But, um, yeah. But the house is some weird stuff has happened. I remember one time yeah. in that same bedroom. I eventually ended up moving because I couldn't handle being in that room anymore. But Did the bedroom. Really? Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Yeah. Really? Yeah, because the original bedroom was right. in the middle of the house. Okay. But then I ended up moving to the back. To like the back. The yeah, I know. With that place, area. I know. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh wow. And I had to leave it. I couldn't. Do That's it anymore. crazy. There were such know bad that. vibes in that room. So the room had the door to the attic. Oh, oh. Yeah. And originally I wanted that room because I was like, oh, this is so spooky. I I'm love so it. attic sensitive because <laughs> the entrance to my attic is in my closet, which Ooh. will never not creep me out. That's so creepy. Attics are just naturally. Yeah, super they're there's naturally. Barns may be creepy, but yeah. attics are the attics are so much creepier. Dark recess. <sighs> <sighs> okay, but anyway, so it had the attic in there. Yeah, I remember I woke up in yeah. the middle of the night because just like heard some random noise. I kind of like woke up mm -hmm. and I was with the way I was sleeping. I was facing the the attic door, and the attic door was like just again like this very old house. It was this old thin door with one of those handles that like lift this old oh yes yeah to open it up. So. I heard this noise and I realized it was the door, the thing was kind of like this loose metal okay, thing and yeah. it was jiggling and you could hear footsteps creaking on the steps. No! Because it like the way the door opens and there's these steps that go up and you could literally hear and I remember testing it the next day. I wanted to see if like the sounds were similar yeah. and it was as though someone who wasn't strong enough to like flip the lock okay. was like standing was, there like, trying, trying to, to, to like, yeah. Nope. I know. Nope. I know. Nope. 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 Um, a lot of bad stuff happened there. Uh, oh, that's so one weird. time, actually, my nephew, who at the time was really young, and he would sleep in my mom's room, mm -hmm. my, in my parents' room, mm -hmm. and uh, he told us the morning after, very casually, like he wasn't necessarily scared; he was more just like confused. Yeah. And he was like talking to us, and he was like, "Mima," he's talking to my mom. He's like, "Mima." I woke up last night and he'd sleep on the bed right at the foot of the bed or on the floor on the foot of the, at the foot of the bed. And he's like, Mima, I woke up last night and there was uh, a lady standing on your bed looking down at me. I was like, okay. Also, there's nothing scarier than kids telling ghost stories. <laughs> so like that is. Oh. He's he had like no reason to like he didn't know like ghosts. He didn't no. Know that stuff. He was just oh, like I woke up and there was a woman just standing on the bed looking down at me. That's crazy. And he was just so like, yeah, like I so don't casual know. about yeah. it. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> I just died. I just died. It just happened. Food's here. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> so our food just got here. Sorry for the interruption. <laughs> Can I tell you in Christy Lynn's video, Kyle walked in 
as she was telling a story about like seeing a face and Kyle walked in. This is the second October video in which I've like jumped. This of, oh god, I'm not making so these perfect. things up. That was great. Oh, uh, anyway, what were you saying? Uh, kids being sensitive. Kids being ghosts, sensitive. Yeah, kids are supposed creepy. to be sensitive. Super creepy. That's the only other ghost thing that like we've never had any ghost experiences in my house. Like, thank God. Um, but the but not I will say not 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 knock on anything really. Um, but my the one thing I will say is that after my grandmother passed away, my mom's mom. Um, which was about, I think, two years ago now. Um, my mom swears that, and she only mentioned this recently because, like, if you mention this to me, I will, I will be scared forever. But she, she uh, thought that she saw Max, my dog, um, like wandering more aimlessly, like he was following someone, and she's convinced that it was my grandmother. Ooh. That's a thing. Which I refuse to believe. Grandma, I love you, but like, please don't haunt me. Please don't haunt me. Like, don't do it. I, I love you. Just she's like, not haunting. Haunt she's no, she's after watching her. after, and I appreciate it, but like, she's probably just bored. It don't freak me out. Like, severe food just freaked me out. <laughs> so like, that's that's that. That's the thing. Is the it's more like the power of like of your mind. Yeah. Yes. Like you you build up. You get your imagination stirring. You yeah. To like yes. Scare definitely. yourself. What I love. It's a thing. It's a thing. Do you have anything else, or do you think that's so, about? Yeah, what? there have been like the ones I told you were more like stories. Yeah. But there have been like random occurrences, and yeah. instances. Like one time I was, yeah, like randomly, it's always like would wake me up at night. I woke up and there was someone. Incidentally, this was in the new room that I moved into. In the corner, I heard clear as day someone whispering. Like straight up whispering. It was just like yeah. nothing bad. Just like, <sighs> right, like incoherent, like, but just like, yeah. I hope you were like. Otherwise, I'd be concerned. I was like, okay, great, um, great. Yeah, I heard uh, one time I was writing in my room, and it was the middle of the day, and I was just writing, and it sounded like against the wall. It sounded like someone was kicking it really hard, and I don't think you think it was pipes or something, but. Never have, has a sound ever returned. Returns like, that way. It yeah, literally just weird. sounded like you hear like it was a shoe like kicking against the wall. Yeah. And where that would have been coming from on the other side of the wall uh -huh. was in one of the closets. And that closet has had some strange things. Actually, my sister and my my sister in law and my brother yeah. who are building a house for the yeah. time being, they moved back with my parents mm -hmm. and they're in that room now. And I was just told that the other night my sister-in-law was just, I don't know, just sitting in bed, yeah. and she saw a candle just flopped onto the ground. So it's like weird stuff like Weird that. stuff, yeah, yeah, just constant weird occurrences. Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. That's so crazy. You're the most haunted person I know. Yeah. Ghosts are fun, but they scare you. Yeah, no, they're, that's terrifying. Like, the fact that you can talk about these things so, like, nonchalantly, I can't. I Spooky. cannot. So far, nothing. I'm living in New York now. Yeah. And like with the wonderful, beautiful building. Cody, who is in the other room. The wonderful, beautiful Cody. Yeah. He's like waiting for us to finish. So we can eat. Yeah. yeah. He's great. He's great. I love him. Uh, but, uh, yeah, you live yeah, now nothing, uh, here. Nothing's happening. Maybe it's just Connecticut. No, this place doesn't feel. And I know this sounds so like whatever, but like this place does not feel haunted. No. Like I feel like, and again, it could be me perpetuating because I know that Danny's other house in Connecticut is like supposed to be haunted, but like. There is something about like your house, that, that house is so old and you yeah. can instantly tell, again, it's a beautiful house, but it is one of those houses where like very easily a horror movie can be filmed oh, there, sure. like a non-suspecting horror movie yeah. where like a beautiful family moves into <laughs> a new house. Um, but like here does not feel, no, it good really vibes does, here. It, there are good vibes here, so you can walk around night and, not be scared, so. and not be scared, that's a thing. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much for coming on my channel and like telling so many ghost stories. Oh, so I fun. love it. This is like, especially like there's nobody better really to ask than Danny about <laughs> these sorts of things. He's got so many, th all right, well, yeah, this is why we don't have him on more often. It's his ego. Uh, be sure to follow Danny on all of his social media. It's gonna be in the bottom bar below. Uh, he's doing amazing and great things all the time and hopefully he and I try to collaborate a lot. Yeah. So we're gonna continue to try to do that. Well, we um, both do uh, we both take and I'm in the process of taking uh, improv yeah. and sketch writing courses at the Upright Citizens. Yeah, UCB love. Yeah, so UCB love. we're gonna try to 
take merge, those skills yeah. and merge that for sure. So be stuff. sure to like this video and let yeah. me know if you want to see Danny more often, truly, because I love him. He's one of my great friends. I love you. And I do. I love you so much. Uh, and he's one of my best fandom friends forever, for life. He will yes. always be one of my first cosplay friends ever. Ever, ever, ever. Uh, so again, be sure to check out all of his social media in the bottom bar below. If you want to find me on other social media, that will all be in the bottom bar as well. And stick around for more, more Hauntedtober episodes because they come in at you all the way up until Halloween. So live it. Live your dreams. I love you. I love you, Beans. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. Bye.